Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, May 29th, and the only reason I know the date today is because my data resets. Yes, because used it all up when we were moving. Um, it's just going to be another day in the life today, and so we will get some food. I'm going to record my workout because I haven't done that in a while, and that's about it. I don't really know what else to give you guys, and this is just fun for me to record, so that's what we're going to do. There will usually be some kind of lesson throughout. Um, right now, I'm going to go and get my blood work done. I tried to go do it yesterday, and they're like, oh, so you've been fasting all day? I'm like, I didn't know I needed to be doing that. So I'm going to go do that right now. I made my appointment for 11, but I'm going to go see if I can get in early. Cause I hit a new low weigh-in today, and I want to show you guys, but my camera died literally as soon as I picked it up because I forgot to charge it from the last time. And then by then I had already drank so much water and got dressed, so it's 1.38 though. So yeah, on the dock. just walked in there and there's like 10 people sitting there waiting so I know I'm not going to get in any earlier but it's like 9.30 so I'm just going to go to the mall here for a little bit because I need to pick out an outfit for a shoot that I'm doing next week with Blair Knox so I'll go do that right now while I'm waiting but I just like I'm not even a big coffee person, like I don't need it, but fuck do I want one today? I'm so I just got back from my blood work and I passed out like immediately. Well, he put it in and it like really, really hurt and I was like, that doesn't feel right. And I don't do well with like anything to do with blood in general. He was like, oh, your vein twisted up. And immediately I was just like, what the fuck? And I don't know, out. But like, it is so scary passing out. Like I felt like I had the world's quickest nightmare and I woke up and there's like four people around me and I was just so terrified. I started crying and then they like took me into a room and let me lay down and stuff and they're like, yeah, we'll like take a minute and then we'll finish this up. I was like, no, I'm not doing it again. But I calmed down and we got it done and stuff and and then she's like, you need to eat some candy to feel better. And I was like, yes, I do. So I'm not counting that in my macros today because I needed it. Anyway, I'm kind of out of it. I need to eat something, so. But hopefully I feel better after I eat and lay down for a while. And then I also have a massage tonight, so I need to start feeling better. But food is always number one priority. But I'm not really hungry right now. I don't really have an appetite. So I'll show you instead what I got at the mall. So I ended up getting one sign. I got my dad this like Grill Master sign for Father's Day. And then when I went to Stokes, this barbecue brush set on sale. So I was like, oh. Perfect, it all goes together. But I went there to go get my mom a birthday present because it's her birthday on the 10th of June. And she's in this pineapple phase right now. So they have a site, a camper camping site at our lake. And I thought that this would be really cute. She's like a little tea light pineapple. And then these little pineapple lights that light up. Olivia and Rose to get my that outfit for my shoot and I'm not going to show you that and the pictures will show you that later. And then I got some underwear and shorts there as well because I can't sleep in pants. I need to sleep in shorts all the time. Anyway, so that's what I got and 
been a productive day so far. I can't believe this little stupid thing makes me pass out. Like, look at all this. I deal with needles all the time, but I can't. And it makes me really sad because I know I can never give blood because I just pass out. But, yeah. Hey, breakfast. I'm feeling a little bit better now. Um, I want to show you guys what I made yesterday. These little dinosaur. Isn't this adorable? And it's in the shape of a dinosaur. Um, BCAA gummies. So they turned out okay. My protein or BCAAs that I use are these AMRAP ones. And I usually love Beyond Yourself um, BCAAs, but this batch is like really bad for some reason. It doesn't like shake up well which is super disappointing so therefore the gummies like kind of didn't turn out the best because it didn't mix very well but they're so cute and it makes for a good little like snack right after a meal to you know curb that sweet tooth you guys know i'm all about that so yeah but i'll post the recipe kind of how i did it down below in the description box I feel like I'm always cooking tilapia when I show you my meal prep, but so I'm doing some in brown turmeric, chili powder, and curry powder, and then doing some also in this chipotle mango that I forgot that I had. It was in the back of my cupboard, and it's also cooking up some barley. So I just put some in the pot and then rinse it. Out and then I'll fill it up again just like with an inch of water above all the material. So I got my tilapia all meal prepped there. I guess I do want to say that I do prefer my fish fried on there instead of in the oven and I think it makes a big difference. So if you really hate your tilapia or any white fish, I would try frying it because I think it just gives it more of like a smoky flavor and it cooks better. I feel like when you cook in the oven, it's like kind of rubbery. So I like doing my tilapia on, only on the stovetop basically. And so that's my little hack there. Guys, I can't stop eating these. They're honestly so good. And there's really nothing bad in there for you. So I don't feel too bad about eating them because per one, there's like five grams of carbs. And they're just perfect to eat, like all the time. I was watching, obviously Stephanie Barmore's cheat days are the best because she can eat so much food while I was doing dishes, so that's. Her and I would just like super get along. Like, can't you just see us being friends? We would be. So, woo! is basically done. It gets really stuffy just like rice. I actually really like kind of my change here. Um, give you an update. I'm not really I'm not really sure if cutting out rice has really been beneficial or not yet. Um, it's been about a week. Actually I think it's been like exactly a week. And Everything still like kind of feels the same, no better, no worse. So we'll see how my blood work comes back. Thought I would share with you guys what I'm wearing to the gym. So this is called A1 Athletic Wear and they reached out to me and asked if I would like to, I guess, kind of be an ambassador for them. So I got this really cute blue set and it's a very thin material. Uh, I like it because it's like breathable and stuff, but you do need to wear like seamless underwear with it for sure, which is good because I bought some today, but yeah, I really love the blue color and their logo is really cute too. So I do have a code if you want to get a discount. They're a Canadian company, so I thought that was really cool. They're from Quebec, so my code is SCOES10 and yeah, go check them out. Alright, just pulled up to the gym and as soon as I got my vehicle, I was like... Oh, maybe I don't feel as good as I thought, so we'll see how this goes. What's up, guys? Welcome to another workout commentary. This 
uh, day is focused on quads and biceps. So I know it's kind of an interesting split, but I'll explain that in a little bit. The first exercise you see me doing here is a jump split squat. And it's a lot harder than it looks. I'm only holding a 10 pound dumbbell in my hand here and I do five sets of eight and I superset it with two other exercises, one being the adductor and another being a calf sequence. So what I wanna make sure I do here is not let my knee go too far over my toe and keeping that posture nice and tight and just really compose and chest up, pushing through my heel or pushing through my foot completely so that I get a good burn in my thigh. So this is the adductor machine. I'm sure all you girls have seen this before. Guys, don't be afraid of it either. Again, I'm only doing eight reps and I'm really focusing on the negative in this exercise, as you can see. So this is not slow down. This is the real time of it. So really, really, really holding, <laughs> really, really, really holding the tension throughout this entire exercise and again keeping that core nice and tight and then I move on to this calf sequence so I do eight regular actually I ended up doing about 20 regular I believe I was going in sets of eight but I do basically as many as I can regular and then I turn my heels out point my toes in to focus on all the different muscles in the calf because there are more than one just like your arms or legs things like that so then again i turn my toes outwards and put my heels together and do eight in that way so i'm targeting all parts of my calves here i will also quickly mention that i barely took my rest periods in between that circuit because kind of doing your calves is enough of a rest so keep going with as little rest as possible. The next sequence I'm moving into is on the leg press. So the first one is a low wide stance press and then I move into a close together uh, low stance press and then followed by an AMRAP of calf raises. So I'm doing this to target all different parts of my quads again and it's just to really exhaust them and get an excellent workout tearing those muscle fibers and you're gonna really feel the burn here I thought I would my plan was to keep increasing the weight but I was getting tired so I do glutes and hamstrings the day before this so yesterday oh, my legs are dying I just switched up my split so my legs are sore but I'm feeling good, regardless of like the whole blood fiasco, so that's a good thing. So speaking of split, this is where I thought I would throw that in. So I'm currently doing six days on, one day off. And so my day one is chest and shoulders and core. My day two is glutes, hamstrings, and triceps. Day three is what we're on with quads, calves, and biceps. And then day four is shoulders and core, day five back and core, day six hamstrings, glutes and shoulders. So I'm giving myself a lot of time to work on the areas that I really want to develop as a bikini athlete. So obviously that has to do with shoulders, core, glutes and hamstrings. Um, my quads are definitely not my main focus in the parts of my legs because they are quite well developed, but I really do need to lean out my legs, which is my issue right now. Shouldn't say issue, but my focus. All right, so now what we're moving into is arms, full biceps specifically. I do always make sure I do legs before this because it's the largest muscle group, you need a lot of energy for it. So the first exercise I do here is Zotman curls and then I immediately move into hammer curls as you're gonna see there we get going and I'm doing four sets of 10 reps for each exercise um, these Zotman curls are an excellent exercise to again target different parts of your bicep in one movement with that turn at the top you're gonna really feel that tension and especially as soon as you move into your second set of it 
I love hammer curls because I just feel like I get a burn so quickly and I mean who doesn't love seeing your bicep veins when you're training upper body but you can see I do tuck her out quickly so it's a great little sequence here and then when I do feel like I need a break but I don't want to quit I do that single arm as you saw there all right the next thing that I move into here is an individual side cable curl and I'll superset that with an overhead cable curl I'm doing eight reps for five sets so you can see that that's kind of the theme going on uh, with my reps and sets ideas um, again we just want to target every kind of direction of the muscle so I'm using every kind of idea that I can think of at this point I love this overhead cable curl because I feel like I feel a lot in all my upper body because I'm using a little bit of my back I feel like to hold my posture I can feel it pulling in my triceps it's just a really great exercise I really recommend trying it if you haven't yet and I really try to squeeze once I do pull completely down there as you this isn't my typical side cable curl I usually do but I thought why not try it so I'm just doing some foam rolling because I'm trying to make that a priority and if I keep saying it on here I might actually do it Ooh. I just did 12 minutes of hit on the bike and I legitimately feel like my vagina is bruised <laughs> post-workout meal you guys saw me prep so four ounces of tilapia in that chipotle mango 100 grams cooked barley half a serving of beans and then i just fried up some mushrooms in garlic and ghee is if you want something no matter how little or how big it is like if you want something do whatever it takes to make it happen like do whatever it takes find different ways find different options it doesn't work the first time or this way or that way figure it out to make it happen if it's something so i did want to just elaborate a little bit more on what happened this morning so like blood has been a huge fear of mine for as long as i can remember like i remember slamming my finger in a drawer when i was really not even really little like 12 years old and i feel like that was kind of my, my first experience with like experiencing my own blood because it was just a mess and I went to the bathroom to go clean myself up and just like, passed out. Passed out when I got my nose pierced. I passed out I think the last time I went and got blood done honestly and I th today was the first time I tried to go and do it alone. I always bring somebody with me because I know like I can't do it and I don't know why and like you would think with tattoos and that kind of needles I'd be okay with it but I think it's because of the thought of like extracting something from me and also like going into my I don't know it just it really freaks me out so that's why I like I kind of had a panic attack when I woke up when I said I cried because I was having like a nightmare when they woke me up and like, Sam Sam and I woke up and I just like started like freaking out I could hardly breathe and they had like ice packs all over me and stuff and I had to go lay down and it's just I don't know why but it's one of my biggest fears it's something I don't do well with and I don't know how to do better with it like it's scary for me, but anyway, I just wanted to explain that a little bit more so you guys know one of my uh, deepest fears. The other one is elevators. don't like those. And feet. So I'm just on my way to my massage. I'm so excited, but I just wanted to share that I'm drinking a homemade iced coffee. And literally all I've been doing, I'm obsessed with this now, is when I make a pot of coffee, I just leave it in the pot pour it on ice with cinnamon and liquid stevia and it's the freaking best like does anyone else do this comment down below because apparently i've been out of the loop i just started doing it like a few weeks ago and i love it so we'll get to my massage appointment and his power is out just my luck and Normally I wouldn't really care, but it was across the city, so that really sucked. But we did my, like, adjustment for it, and then rebooked for Thursday, so whatever, I guess. Then I went and got a few groceries, now I'm making supper. 
So I've been obsessed with making these like sweet potato chicken Mexi bowls. And then I just put um, avocado, lettuce, and cucumber in there. And then it's already like from the seasoning and marinade of the chicken, it already like kind of has a dressing. But then I'll just like put more hot sauce on basically to dress it up. going to sign off for the night because I'm not going to be doing much else. I'm actually just going to edit this video. So thank you for making it. It's almost too bright. Thank you for making it all the way through guys. And a little update I guess. I am like five and a half weeks out from the Vancouver Pro Show. Feeling good. Still waiting for my coach to follow up with my check-ins from yesterday so we'll see kind of where we're going with food up or down I'm not too sure we keep increasing so but I feel like it's time to even just maintain I'm not sure anyway I really appreciate your guys' support and so be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe you can also hit some kind of little bell that will tell you every time I post a video it's kind of only being like once a week lately out going to try and do a little bit more because I love doing this but it just sometimes gets set aside with work and training and you know life life is going on for all of us so and that being said you guys can do anything you want with your life thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye I might never be the hands you put your heart in or the arms that hold you anytime you want them don't mean that we can't live here in the moment